I want to make something sexy. <laughs> Can I say it? Can I say it? It's not, if it's not good, let me know. Today we're at two Michelin star Jinsik and we're gonna hang out with Chef and G and she's gonna show us the whole process of her famous dessert, the black truffle cone. A truffle is special, like a delicacy. They smell very like salty, earthy. Not a lot of places know how to make a dessert made out of truffle. They don't know how to execute it well because this is usually on pasta or on duck or ribeye. Not what it, someone would think of for dessert. I worked with a lot of savory cooks and uh, chefs. I learned a lot about spices or the peppers and the ingredients. I love to use the savory ingredients to pastry. The philosophy behind the dessert tasting is going from essentially like a palate cleanser, light, clean, fresh, and then moving towards stronger flavors. Yes, exactly. There are not a lot of restaurants doing the dessert tasting. So I want to show like more dessert and the more colorful flavors. This is the last course of the dessert tasting menu. Only have for the truffle season. Oh, that means very special. Yeah. We are using the fresh truffles and then truffle paste, peelings, and truffle juice for the truffle cream and then truffle ice cream. So we're gonna make the base of truffle cone. Mm -hmm. First of all, I just looking around uh, to find the nice cone stand, but I couldn't find it. I said, why? Why not? I can make, make it. Yeah. Make my own. What kind of chocolate are we using? Uh, I'm using the dark chocolate from Caribe from Valona, but any kind of chocolate we can use it. Turns like a texture of clay. I have very hot hands. I melt instantly. <gasps> wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> this is me all the time. <laughs> So this one is for making the waffle cones. This is tempered chocolate, making the branch texture. This is deja vu for me. Okay, now we're gonna color the branches. So more texture, yeah. more flavor. I will put some coverture in the cup and fill with the chocolate. So this is a pretty chocolate heavy dessert. <laughs> We're gonna put the cacao nibs and make it look like the ground. So now we're gonna make the chocolate waffle cone and we are using a scale because everything should be scaled for the same uh, amount. Yeah, I love this. Brown butter, cacao powder, flour, and then there is truffle juice either inside oh, wow. of the truffle cone base. Nice. When I was young, I wanna be a pastry chef. How old do you think you are? 14. So what did your parents expect you to be? Be a doctor or lawyer? Or... <laughs> I want to make them know like my dream is to be a pastry chef. I need your support. Yeah. I decided to move to France to learn and work there. Did they end up giving you the support? Yeah. Holy smokes. What you're making here, there's like a lot of curve and flow and you're like building up to the prize moment of the dessert. You wanna make the truffle cream? Okay. Heavy cream with okay. icing sugar for making shongqi. You wanna taste it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is really good. This is the last course of the dessert tasting menu with the truffle cone. First truffle slice in the bottom. When they finish the cone, they have a truffle flavor nice. at the end. Very thoughtful. Truffle ice cream. Truffle cream, chocolate caramel, second truffle slice, truffle ice cream, truffle 
this nice at the top. Roll this in. I have all this expression. Where's yours? <laughs> this is so good. The saltiness really makes the truffle shine. I enjoy when I got through the ice cream and I got to the under that first layer of the truffle underneath. It makes sense why this is the last course. I mean, the chocolate, the truffle, it's like mind-blowingly good. If I can define my style of dessert is use the Korean ingredients with the French technique and also American flavors, influence. It's been so cool to be back here with you. It was just a pleasure. Thank you. Look at you, Mickey.